We're going to talk about flexible budget variances. What is a flexible budget? What variances arise and how are they used? A flexible budget is a budget at more than one level of activity. And it specifically shows how either profits or total costs differ across the different levels of activity. And typically the levels of activity have to do with sales volume or production volume. Uh, fixed costs are presumed not to change within the relevant range and flexible budgets are usually prepared within the relevant range. Um, and so only variable costs are going to change with activity and fixed costs will not. So let's just work through an example and see what happens. So here we have Bulky that say it sells their main product um, for $45 a piece. That's the sales price. Its variable cost for, per box is $18. They have some fixed costs, 100,000 uh, for up to 5,000 boxes and 138,000 over 5,000 boxes. Okay. And they just have one variable selling and administrative cost, that's sales commission, which would be 2% of the sales price, so 2% of that $45. So from this fact pattern, we can create this per unit contribution margin, the $45 they gave us and the $18 they gave us, and we figured out the 90 cents by taking 2% times the 45. So we have our contribution margin. So now we should be able to come up with profits at the 4,000 level and the 6,000 level of boxes, which is requirement A. So how would we do that? Okay, so for the 4,000 level, we would take 4,000 times the sales price. And for 6,000, we would take 6,000 times the sales price. So we get our sales there. For the product cost, we would take 4,000 times the 18 and 6,000 times the 18, and that's how we got the 72,000 and the 108. The, sell, the variable selling administration is 2% of sales price, so you can either take the 90 cents times the 4,000, or you can just take 2% of the 180,000. Both of them will give you 3,600. Same thing with the 5,400. You can either take 2% of the 270,000, or you can take 90 cents times the 6,000. And that allows you then to compute your contribution margin, your sales, less your two variable cost. And then the fixed cost at 4,000, they tell you, well, it's below 5,000, so that'd be 100,000. And then 6,000 is above 5,000, so it'd be 138,000. So there, that would be our profit. So here's our flexible budget. Why is it a flexible budget? Because it's a budget at more than one level of activity. It's at 4,000 boxes and 6,000 boxes. So now we're going to do the second piece of it and say, assume they adopted as their final budget for the year, the 4,000 level budget. But it turns out that after the year occurred, there was actually 4,500 sales units. And then they had these various costs that they tell us about. So the flexible budget variances w would be of two kinds. The first one would compare the planned level of activity and the actual level of activity and ignore what you actually spent. So this is the sales volume variance. How much would profit change just based on predicting 500 more units sold? Not based on you doing a good or bad job controlling costs or raising prices, lowering prices, just if it basically it's like doing another flexible budget. The one we did on the prior screen, 4,000 versus 6,000. This is kind of like, well, just do yet, yet one more, do one at 4,500. Okay, well, how would we do that? Well, we take the 45 times the 4,500 and get the sales volume. The product cost, we would do the 18 times the 4,500 and so forth. And so we would expect profits to be up by $13,050 just based on selling 5,000. 500 more than plan. Okay, so that's the sales volume variance. And what that that's what that means is that we expect profits to go up by 13,050 purely because of the sales volume. That's one piece of it. That's the sales volume variance. The other piece is the flexible budget variance. So here we're comparing the actual sales transactions and the actual expenses incurred with the budget at the achieved activity level. So not the original budget at 4,000, but the updated budget, the flexible budget at 4,500, the activity achieved. And so we compare now the expected budget at the sales volume achieved 
with what you spent or what you collected. So the sales transactions are exactly what we expected. The product costs were a little higher, a little bit higher than $18 a unit, and the uh, variable selling administrative were quite a bit below the plan. Um, but the fixed selling administrative were above the plan. And I don't know if those are related, the fact that one is lower and one is up higher in the selling administrative. We would have to investigate with management to find out. So this tells us how spending went given the flexible budget at the actual activity. And so it's not the, it's not sales volume variance, which is you sold something different than we initially expected. This is given what we expected, how did you perform? So now you're ready to work some of the homework in the class activities.